are this week's Ambassador News Flash with Tyron Bain who caught his biggest tuna yet, a 33 kilogram tuna and this was caught on his Altiga 50HA and his Poseidon tuna stick. Then from the Western Cape, Anand Naka with a cow shark. This was caught on his Altiga LD60, his salt is extra heavy and a 13 hour masset ring soy hook. Brandon Fraser managed to land a few carp during his last session, including this stunning chestnut common. Brandon fished with a 20mm bottom bait, top off with pineapple barrel wafer covered with shibboleth goo. He fished this presentation on a spinner rig using really tight 5.5 inch boom section. Simply just added cutter kicker and a size 4 crank hook. This was fished over a scattered bed of bait. Then on his recent visit to South Africa, Neil Spooner from Porter, UK fished at Donaldson Bottom Lake and managed to get a few fish including a 24 pound 5 ounce and a 33 pound 9 ounce common. Neil used the Dawa Power Mesh 12 foot 3.5 pound TC rods, the Dawa Cross Cars BK 5500 reels, Corda Apex Braid 30 pound, Corda Kamakura number 4 hooks, Corda Boom 25 pound which delivered these spectacular catches. Then Mohammed Azafa got stuck into this 152 cm thorn tail. This fight lasted an hour and 30 minutes. But Mohammed was geared for the fight using his Dawa Saltis Grindy Elite 15 foot, his Dawa Dark Fight 8000, Dawa J Braid 50 pound, and a Mustard 10 hour soy. Then on the north coast at Mabibi, Dean Reddy christened his tournament 15 foot, catching a yellow belly rock heart and a giant guitar fish. Dean matched his Dawa tournament 15 foot with his Saltis 8000 and Dawa 50 pound J braid. Michael Roger lined up the diamonds using his Dawa Saltis Grand Elite 15 foot heavy, his Dawa Beach 6500, Dawa J braid 40 pound chartreuse, and a Master 10 O circle hook. These fish were caught on Bonnie Head. Then Jazz Gavender and Ray Thompson also got their fair share of the flapping action up north, landing these beautiful diamond rays. Jace was using his Dawa Dark Fight 8000, Dawa Tournament 15 foot, Dawa J Braid, and Master Tuna Circle Hooks. Ray Thompson tackled these babies with the Dawa Dark Fight 8000, the Dawa Grand Elite 15 foot, Dawa J Braid 50 pound, and Master Tuna Circle Hooks 10 0. Let's have a look. Yeah, guys, we're down here at M2 Zini Banks. We've got rare all of the diamond. We've got a couple of fish already. We got here late this afternoon. Put a couple of baits out. Lots of weed, but yeah, we managed to get a good couple of fish. Uh, fresh bait is what worked. You can see that bend on that rod. Awesome Ben on that rod. Grand Elite with the dog fight. Right, uh, Razor releases fish. You can see gloves. And in the mouth. That's yeah, a big fish, so you, you need both his hands. Beautiful, quick release. We'll just watch a fish get off the bank. There she goes in the current. Well done, Ray. Well fished. A good couple of fish tonight. Yeah, guys. Uh, Ray's on again. Ray, nice fish. Thanks. Okay. We've got all this weed that there is here. Catching our braid with tight braid. Seems to be cutting through it. So you're fighting a 60, 70 kilo fish and 20 kilo weed. 30 kilo weed. 30 kilo weed. <laughs> That's why it's not coming so nicely. Guys, so you can see J Braid, Dogfight, and Grinder Elite. One awesome setup. As you can see, the conditions weren't the best today. With a lot of weed. And we still got a couple of fish. And a total of about 12 fish we landed this, this afternoon. Decent sized diamond landed by Ray. It looks like about 60 kilos. Yeah, Ray, that uh, J braid holds out quite well. Yeah, look at this stuff. It's stringy, it's hard. This stuff is so hard, it's unbelievable. And the J braid's been cutting through it, and we had clumps and clumps on it of that uh, reed on it. 
unbelievable. Now guys, if you look at the texture of this weed, it's very, very sharp. Very, very. Uh, it's got like serrated edges, and it's actually very hard weed. And this. Look at, look at how strong the break is here. This goes through the line. I uh, meet one of our buddies that we met on the beach. I was fishing. Your name, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, so you got a couple of fish today? Uh, one diamond. One diamond. Enjoying it. Something good. So, going back to the weed, guys. So, this is the weed that we've been fishing on today. And this a J braid just held out magnificently. Uh, we pulled a good couple of fish through all this weed, and we haven't broken a single one as yet. Size of these garments, or they well, another sand bath for eh? Yeah, another shower. <laughs> 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 no, like he wants to release himself. Then using his Dawa Salters 8000, his Dawa Tournament 40 foot 6 and Dawa J Braid 40 pound, Dale Mack also got his fair share of the action. That brings us to the end of part 1 of this week's ASFN Ambassador News Flash. Remember to click the bell icon if you would like notifications on when new content is getting loaded. Also remember to subscribe to the channels and remember to join us for part 2 of the ASFN Ambassador News Flash.